partner? I'm, I'm looking, you know, I'm, I'm a hopeless romantic, yeah. so I do, I love love and I love men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so you just never know with me. Sure, yeah. You know, I, I'm, no, there's no plan to get married again, but yeah. like they say in my song, three, three times the charm, so catch me if you can. Well, Luann, welcome. I don't. I feel like we haven't done anything in person in like forever. It's I know. Always like over it's Zoom, been, it's right? been way too long. I know. So I'm so happy to have you here it's on nice our couch. To be here. You, yes. have, you have so much exciting things going on. I do. You are taking the tour international. <laughs> I am. <laughs> For the first time, yeah, I'm going with my uh, new show, Mary F. Kill. The song just dropped last yes. week on Love iTunes it. and Spotify. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all about, the show's all about the men we'd marry, the ones we'd F, and the ones we want to get rid of. Yes. Right? We're not mm -hmm. killing anybody. But, um, it, and it's so fun because it's all new and, and I loved putting together this show and actually writing this song yeah. because, and really the inspiration came from my fans because what happens is I do a show and I do a Q&A and the mm -hmm. audience always asks, somebody always asks me, who I didn't marry, who would have F yep. and who I'd kill. Uh -huh. So I was like, every time and time again, I was like, oh my God, this is the name of my new tour. Sure. So it really started as the tour, you know, for Cabaret. And then I, and then I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to write a song about this, mm -hmm. you know, which nobody's really done. Yeah. Right? No, and it's, it's so true that, like, now that you mentioned that, because yeah. it's such, like, a fun game that you always play with your friends. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So, um, so I'm having so much fun. You know, the creative part for me of Cabaret is, is my favorite. It's yeah. like, so I pick, a, I pick the songs that I love. Um, and then I back into it with a story like, yeah. why do I love that song? Mm -hmm. And then, and then I go Giovanni shopping. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I, I think in this tour too, when I saw some of the videos, you have some like, uh, I think Us Weekly covers are like flashing in the background with some oh, headlines yeah. for the, uh, absolutely. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. Cause it's all about scandal. It's you all know? about the scandal. It's really all about the scandal. God knows I've had my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no short, short, yeah. not, not short on scandals. And so, you know, when I talk about all that stuff, you yeah. know, and it's, it's kind of, um, Comedy meets cabaret meets pop culture mm -hmm. meets a fashion show. Right. So, yeah, so it's really a lot of fun. People are loving the show. Yeah. Um, I've been touring already. I'm going now to um, Sac Sacramento, Modesto, April mm -hmm. 19th and 20th. And then I'll be in San Francisco uh, on the 17th. And then I'm in Dallas on May 17th. So, and then I'm going across the pond to London for the first time. So, so. like, so successful. I love so I, I love it because it's, you know, people come to the show, they don't know what to expect. Yeah. You know, they come in, I always say they come in a Toyota and they drive out in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> because, you know, I have, my cabaret director is, you worked with Kristen Chenoweth, yeah. uh, Bette Midler, um, Barbara Streisand. You know, I really have a great team of people that work with me. Mm -hmm. My musical director, Brian Nash, is amazing. So, you know, um, so it's just so much fun. I really love it. People are like, aren't you tired of being on the road? I'm like, no, I love it. Yeah, and is this the most fun? Like, you obviously you've done so many different things, but does this where you feel like you it's know, home for it, you? It really feels like home, you mm -hmm. know, other than, um, of course, my Bravo family sure. and, and Crappy Lake with yes, Sonia. <laughs> um, being in Benton, Illinois with her was amazing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so besides, you know, TV, uh, the cabaret is really my my love yeah. affair. I know fans want to know if there's going to be a music video. Yes, yes. I'm working on a music okay. video. I actually have a meeting about that tomorrow okay. and working on a music video. What's Did, kind of have the you vision? heard the song? Yes, so oh, good. Thank yes. You. I thank mean, you. what's kind of the vision for the You know, um the vision is, you know, I I it's going to be a game. Mhm. Mm the vision is a game and we're going to play the game in the video. I love that. Yeah. I love it. So any more new music on the way too or Well, you... listen, I just came out with right. this song. Right. You're like one and, thing at a time. But girl. you know, but I would like to do actually a an EP of all of my music, yeah. you know. Um, because it's, I have quite a few songs mm -hmm. out there now that, um, you know, and I can't do a cabaret show without doing Money Can't Buy You Class. Otherwise, so they're going to throw, you know, tomatoes <laughs> at me. So, um, so, you know, I write the music myself, yeah. you know, always have. Mm -hmm. um, and I, Bruce Roberts actually pr uh, produced this song mm -hmm. um, because I'm, I'm a writer, but, you know, I'm putting it all together. Sure. Is, so I have great producers I've worked with, you know, uh, I've worked with Desmond Child. Um, I've worked with Billy Stritch and Bruce Roberts and all the greatest in, yeah. um, in the music, you know, world. So, so okay. I'm excited about this song and about the tour. You mm -hmm. know. Have you had any crazy fan experiences? Oh my God. Oh, I've had so many. Yeah. Um, well, there was the one girl who projectile vomited oh on me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Poor, and I thought it was like a bachelorette party. So yeah. I thought she was drunk, but she was allergic to gluten. Stop. And she got sick from eating gluten, and it was like, no. anyway. It's like I've, you can't I mean, really I've feel had, bad for her that I know, right? right? I've had broken ankles at my shows, oh my you know, fans like, you know, and what I love about my shows is my fans all have the common thread of housewives, you yeah. know? 
So they make mm -hmm. friends. Yeah. They go out together after my shows. It's right. one big party. Yeah. And everybody's kind of included, you know. So, so yeah. So it's a really, it's a great, it's a great show and a fun experience. Yeah. It's fans. like a little mini like Bravo Con uh, yeah. moment. So, yeah. Totally. Totally. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you look so good. Oh, like, thank you. Seriously. Christine. Like I know that we have some of these uh, products here that like. Oh my God. My yes. favorite. Favorite. Dr. Daryl Joffrey. Mm -hmm. He's amazing. So I was introduced to him by Dorinda actually. Okay. And Dorinda uses his products and a lot of friends. Um, I turn them onto uh, okay. his products because, you know, I suffer with um, acidity, mm -hmm. you know, and so yeah. um, so I need things that are going to keep my body, and we all do, you know, we all need to keep our body basic, and so the things he has here, I mean, he's written great books, but mm -hmm. this is mocha, this is, I put it in my coffee every okay. morning, takes nice. the acidity out of coffee, oh, good. and it tastes like chocolate. Oh. So I can't I, I can't live without it now. Okay. Like my coffee has to have the, the scoop of chocolate. Sure, mocha in yeah. It. I just love it. And um sorry, I have allergies right okay. now, so my no, voice the is allergies are out of control. Oh my god, the out allergies are control. Me. <laughs> so um so I use the mocha in the morning and mm -hmm. then he, you see there's mineral powder there yep. that I put in water, mm -hmm. you know, when I get, get up in the morning. Um which is great. And then he's got these little drops. Yes. I saw that. For yeah. alcohol. Mm -hmm. So if you want to drink wine or any alcohol, you put like five or six drops in, and it takes the acidity out of alcohol. That's amazing. It's genius. It really it is. It really is genius. I am a huge fan of his products mm -hmm. and and he is just a, a wonderful guy. Yeah. You know? What like like walk me through like a day for you. Are you like super health conscious when it comes to like food and things that you put in your body? Totally, yeah. totally. And then I'll you have my cheating days. Sure, of course. You know, but um, you know, I'll do the um, the minerals and he's got a green juice also okay. you can do in the morning powder yes. that's not here, but mm -hmm. I take I do both. Okay. So I do that first thing in the morning. Um, and then, of course, I have to have my coffee with my mocha. Mm -hmm. And and then I have my coffee. I watch the morning news. Okay. And then I go to the gym mm -hmm. on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the gym and then, um, and then you know, I'm out, you know, visiting Shark you yeah. here at, at us mm -hmm. weekly and um, and or you know, um, getting ready for cabaret shows, going mm -hmm. shopping at Giovanni, uh, <laughs> taking care of my children. I do yeah. have two children, right? And I'm a nurse, don't forget. So, yeah. so I'm all about you know taking what we put in our bodies really affects the way we feel and yeah, our health so and everything. True. So, and then you know, listen, I eat, I eat really kind of everything. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, um, I try to stay away from packaged foods sure. and. You know, things, anything that comes in a package is really not yeah. you know, great for you. Um, so just kind of a Mediterranean diet and just eat well, lots of, you know, lots of water mm -hmm. and hopefully lots of sex and <laughs> and, um, and just, you know, um, I, I must say being in my 50s is really the best decade of my life. Is it really? Why do you it say It really that? is because, listen, when I was 30s, it was amazing. I was having children and that was a wonderful time also. 40s, I was like getting divorced, mm -hmm. getting remarried, right. you know, kids are teenagers. Mm -hmm. um, and now the kids are grown. I'm, you know, 50, I'm doing exactly, in my 50s, yeah. doing exactly what I like to do. That's good. You know, I, yeah. I, um, I'm really lucky because I feel like, you know, since the Housewives, you know, I've been spun off into other shows. Mm -hmm. um, Bravo has kept me, you know, working all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and I just love uh, the music and, you yeah. know, creating the cabaret shows. So that's really... You feel like you're just doing everything that I'm doing you everything wanted to I do. I want to do, yeah. exactly. No, exactly. that's so great. You know, I have the house I always wanted. Yeah. You know, I have my boat that I love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love to drive my own boat. I love that. Yeah, so, um, yeah. And, you know, other than touring, you know, uh, my daughter is going to meet me in London, Fun. Uh, so we're going to do that together. My son is a painter. He's an amazing painter, Noel de la Sets. I love that. Yeah, and What's, he's, he's doing great. He has a show coming out in the Hamptons this summer in August. That's uh, so wonderful. Solo show, so they're doing great. So life is good. Life is really good. I'm knock on wood. Yes, right? Knock on wood. What is the most challenging thing about parenting now at this stage in the game? Well, listen, you know, small kids, small problems. Sure. Bigger kids, bigger problems. Yep. <laughs> you know? Um, you know, I, I must say it's just getting them together and finding yeah. time for the family to be together because mm -hmm. my son lives in, you know, my son's in Brooklyn, so he's yeah. close, so he's mm -hmm. not far. I'm going to have lunch with him next nice. week. My daughter's in Europe right now visiting her father. So it's, a, you know, for me, it's the challenge is keeping us all together, mm -hmm. you know, and sitting down for meals together and, mm -hmm. you know, holidays together and... So, yeah, that's yeah. probably the biggest challenge. And that and parking tickets. Sure, you know. yes. <laughs> Still got to pay them, right? Still got to pay the parking tickets. <laughs> Is there one thing, like, going back to, like, day one of motherhood that you wish you could tell yourself, knowing all that you know now about being a mom? You know, I, um, I would say probably that I wish I spent more time with them. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Right. Like, um, I was always with them, but, you know, I was busy. You know, I was on the show for so long. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the kids weren't that much on the show. You know, right. I think Victoria yeah. was more on the show than Noel. Mm -hmm. Noel shies away from he's not it's not his thing. Sure. But um, probably more time with my kids. Yeah. 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 I feel like that's I'm like making up for it today. No, you are. Yeah. yeah. No, but I feel like that's always the answer because you're pulled in so many different directions. Right. You're working. Yeah. You're, you know, you're trying to make time for we yourself. We wear so many hats as women. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're busy, you know, arranging, organizing, you know, the house and the, sure. you know, the career and the marriages and right. the school system mm -hmm. and, you know, so it's, um, it's, it's, it's busy work it's and it's, you know, one that doesn't get enough credit. Accolades. Yeah, no, it's so true. How did they, how do they feel about, you know, everything that you've accomplished? You know, have a favorite it thing? is so funny. My daughter said to me probably six years ago, she goes, you know, mom, you know that show, The Simple Life? Mm -hmm. You would be so perfect for a show like that. Yes. And so, so she kind of manifested Crappy Lake. Yeah, cra and so so mm -hmm. Crappy Lake was kind of Simple Life, yeah. more like kind right. of Schitt's Creek in, in mm -hmm. a way because we're working with the mayor yeah. and the townspeople, et cetera. Um, so, but she, she said that to me years so ago. Funny. So So she, lo you know, she loves that I do what I do. When they see me on the cabaret stage, they're like, really? <laughs> you, know, cause I, you know, I was a showgirl back in, you know, in the 90s, mm -hmm. you know, I was working for Italian television before I came to the States. Yeah. So I kind of um, found my sweet spot. I love that. Yeah. I love that so much. Are we going to do another season of Crappy Lake? Maybe not in Crappy well, Lake, but well, somewhere else? you know, I'm, I'm hoping, yeah. yeah. I'm hoping, we're, you know, I've heard there's talk about it. Oh, there's got to be, so, right? Yeah. It was so yeah, successful. Yeah, because everybody loved that show. Yeah. So, And I loved doing that show. It was like a dream job for me. Yeah. It really was, you know, to go into a town and help people mm -hmm. um, and have comedy at the same time. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, that was really a dream well, job. Well, you and Sonia are like the dream oh, team. Freaking frack. We're like the Vernon and Shirley. We haven't even you the are. same initials. Right? Luann and That's so Sonia. True. The Vernon and Shirley. That yeah. is so true. We work really well together. Sonia is just so much fun. Yeah. And um, she's like my little wifey. Yeah. I and take do, care of her. Do you still keep in touch with a lot of the people from there? Uh, from, oh, yeah. From, they came to mm -hmm. the premiere in New York. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Benton Motel. So the Benton Motel now has added another wing. Oh, wow. Because they're sold out through next year. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, and so they added another wing, and our rooms are sold out. You That's know, so. so fun. Yeah. Sonia's still talking to the guy that she... Uh... Oh, oh, my. With Richard. <laughs> yes, Richard. With the tattoo of Richard <laughs> yes. on his back. Oh, my God. I uh, die. I can't. I she can't. cracks. Me up. Yeah, well, and, and you know, I had to do all the heavy lifting. I had right. to catch the catfish. You had to catch the catfish. I had to yeah. go to the testy fest and eat the testies. <laughs> you do it all. I'm like, you can keep Richard. Right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> He's, 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 he's yours. yours. He's a keeper. <laughs> I love it. And I also loved uh, Roni Legacy. It was oh, so wonderful. Was you. it a great experience it for was you? A great, it was such yeah. a great trip. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, these Ultimate Girls trips are, you know, it's like, who doesn't want to go on vacation with your, your, friends, with yeah. your girls mm -hmm. for a week and get paid? Sure, yeah. <laughs> so, like, sign me up for that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, yeah, we had a great time. We were back in St. Bart's, yeah. mm -hmm. back to the Pirate. Yeah, back to the Pirate. Back to the Pirate. Mm -hmm. um, and that's always, that's always funny. And Mary F. Kill from my show, I always get asked, okay, Harry, uh, yes. the pirate, uh -huh. or uh, Tom? I'm okay. like, really? I already married Tom. <laughs> right. I already, <laughs> already F the pirate. And, um, you know, I'd kill Harry. So. <laughs> sure. You're like, it's that's like, an easy one. Give yeah, me something exactly, harder right? than that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Have there been talks about that, doing that again? You know, because listen, I would... think they should send the OGs of New York everywhere. Everywhere. I'm I like, agree. And below deck would be great. Yes. Let's, let's Set sail. It's, yeah. Would you? Did you see Jill on Below Deck? I saw Jill last night at okay. Patty Stanger's event. Okay. At, at our, our our conversation with Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Um, but Jill Zarin, yeah, I would love for Jill to come back. Yeah. Would you love for yeah. her to come back? Yeah. Sure. It would have been great. We missed her. We missed Tinsley Mortimer. Yeah. Um, but you know, we got Kelly back. Right. Um, and Kristen Takeman. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a good group. It was a good. Gr it was a good group. group. Yeah, yeah. It was a good group. I know. Yeah. Jill was getting some flack about how she acted on the Below Deck um, right. show. Yeah. Yes. She was getting some flack about yeah, that. I heard yeah. About that. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Jill. Jill. Well, she loves to complain, <laughs> but I do love her. Would you? But you would want to do something like that? Take everybody on like a blow oh, deck. Sure, I would love that, that would crossover. Be amazing. I think that would be a good that. Crossover. And we should do, play Family Feud. Yes. The OGs against the new the housewives. New housewives. Right? Yeah. You know, there were some rumors going around. You know how the Bravo verse has these rumors that sure. that you know the OGs would come on this upcoming season of Brony. Right. Have you heard anything about that? Um, I, you know, I did hear the rumor. Yeah. But I. I don't think there's any truth to no. that. No. Yeah. I think it's wishful thinking on the yeah. part of the fans. Right. But, um, you know, the new cast is the new cast. I mean, they're they're not us. Sure. Of course yeah. they're not us because, yeah. you know, we're different women. But um, 
But but I love the new girls, and you know I think they did a great job with casting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like it would mesh though? Like if some if like maybe oh, you I think we Dorinda said that she would love to have everybody up at Bluestone. Oh, that yes. would be fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could see that. You happening. could see that happening. Why yeah. Why not? Why not? What an ultimate girls trip and mixed cast. <sighs> Right. I would love it. I would love great. it. You know, Bravo has been in the news a lot lately. You know, Andy's been in the news a lot lately mm -hmm. with these lawsuits, one from your former castmate. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction to that? You know, my reaction is, you know, um, it is not in Andy's character, mm -hmm. you know. So, I, you know, I, I know Andy. I've known him for years. Yeah. And it's not in his character. And I, nobody is forced to do anything on the show. Right. You know, mm -hmm. um, if you you know if you talk about drinking, et cetera, it's it's you know, I've been sober on the show. Sure. Yeah. A couple of seasons, I've been sober on Ultimate Girls Trip, and mm -hmm. we, for the first one, we yeah. went to Turks and Caicos, and I think Kyle kind of stopped drinking from that moment because she said to me, "You're having as much fun as we are, if not more fun, and you're not drinking." Interesting. And I said, "You know," and um, so no word, nobody. For, in fact, they supported me not drinking on mm -hmm. the show. Right. And Bravo's always been very supportive of my sobriety in and out of sobriety. Mm -hmm. um, so, like I said, it's it you know um, everybody has their experience. Sure, you know it's never been my experience, mm -hmm. um, nor it has it been a lot of the housewives' experience. Right? Yeah. No, that's so true. I mean, your yeah. your sober journey was yeah. a storyline for it, it, totally many totally. seasons, and they were very supportive, and mm -hmm. you know, and so was the cast. Right. You know? Yeah. So, um, so you know, I don't believe it. Yeah. Did you have you talked to Andy at all? Do you, do you oh, guys chat well, listen, often? I was on uh, Watch What Happens right, Live. Right, recently, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, listen, we have a very professional relationship yeah. also. You know, mm -hmm. listen, Andy can't be friends with 49,000 <laughs> housewives. <laughs> True, you know I mean? yeah. It doesn't happen. So, you know, that he's parting with everybody. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just not true. Right. Where are, because I know on um, Legacy, you did drink a little bit. So where, yes, so I did. how are you kind of balancing Well, you know, so I said I drink on occasion. Sure. And this is an occasion. Yeah. So that's how I, you know, I'm, I'm in a different place with, with yeah. that now, you know. Yeah. Um, I've had, you know, God knows I've been through it. Right. And mm -hmm. um, and I'm in a good place with it now. So, um, yeah, that's yeah. that's my journey. Good. I love yeah. that you said that, you know, Kyle kind of yeah. watched you and was like, okay, yeah. do you, so do you feel, do you, does she credit you for kind of kickstarting no, this? No, not at all. But okay. I think that was one turning point yeah. for her, which was like, oh, oh you can have a good time right. with her drinking. And she's not a big drinker in any no. case. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, you know, if anything, the New York cast is bigger drinkers <laughs> than any, uh, you know, um, but yeah, I think that that was like, a, there was a, a switch, switch that went off. I, mm -hmm. I take no credit in her sobriety. I think it's great that she's not drinking and, um, and you know, she, I think she's very happy. Yeah. Know. Are you still, do you still talk when the cameras are down? I know you're obviously you're close with Sonia and Dorinda, but, are, and I loved the prank that you pulled on Dorinda, the oh, oil yeah. rig. I was dying. Oh, the oil rig. Oh, my God. I pulled <laughs> it on <laughs> Dorinda. I pulled it on Kelly. I did the Cynthia Bailey. I was dying. I had so much fun with it. Hysterical. Was hysterical. Right? I mean, that's, that's, a, that's an idea for a trick. Yes, all the right? houses going on oil rig. I was dying. And hysterical. she's like, are you, are you sure that's safe? I like, know. I'm like, I don't know if it's safe. <laughs> so funny. But are, is it like a sisterhood? Are you all still really oh, close? Oh, yeah. They're like my family. Yeah. They really are, mm -hmm. you know, and it, like your family that you don't see for a while. And right. if we see each other, it's like, oh, my God. It's yeah. Like, you know what I mean? We're mm -hmm. like, we're like family. Yeah. How's my Ram discombobulated <laughs> housewife right. family. Yes. How's Ramona doing? She's living her best life. Yeah, she is. She Go. really is. She's in, you mm -hmm. know, she's in Palm Beach. She's got a nice guy, you mm -hmm. know, so I'm very happy for her. I'll see her this summer in the yeah, Hamptons. Yeah, good. You yeah. know, speaking of guys, you said that this year you were manifesting love for yourself. Yes. You know, we're a few months in. How's that going? Pretty well. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've been dating where I had kind of a dry spell, I have okay. to say, and um, things have kind of turned around. Okay. So I'm dating. There's nobody that, you know, I want to introduce to my kids. I'm just dating and having fun. Okay. You know, because I'm working a lot, traveling a lot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's kind of hard and, you know, TVs are, you know, um, can be difficult mm -hmm. also, you know, reality tells you, oh my God, Dorinda just texted me, she ran into Jacques. Oh, really? Oh, he no. is so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> And you know, Jacques and I are really tight. Are you? We're, yeah, we're really, mm -hmm. really good friends. Yeah. You know, when we broke up, actually, he said, you know, our friendship is good. Our friendship is going to last a lifetime. Interesting. You know, much longer than a relationship might yeah. last. You know, so we had a really smooth ending, and, and we're still friends. Still friends. Mm -hmm. Never thought about getting back together? No. No. Well, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> and then I was like... <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I met, you know, then I met Tom. So yeah, know. then the, yeah. Mm -hmm. There were. I wanted you to clear up some rumors because there were some headlines going around of you out maybe on a date with Mary Kate Olson's ex. Is that true? Well, we went out to lunch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was it fun? It was fun. It was fun. It okay. was fun. I, I've known him for a while. You've known him for a while. Yeah, so it's kind of. More of a friendship. More of a friendship. Mm -hmm. Is it hard, like, when you go out with somebody, though, because everybody is like, okay, now that's who you're dating? Yeah, I mean, it's so funny because we were talking about how, you know, paparazzi and things like that at mm -hmm. lunch and how, you know, he, he's a very quiet, sure. you know, guy who likes um, his, you know, um, who, who likes to be private. Sure. So, um, and then we walk out the door. And, and then there's the paparazzi. <laughs> I mean, you can't catch a break. Right, you can't catch a break. Well, you know, if you're on Madison Avenue at Bill Bouquet, that happens. Sure, guess, that happens. Right? And then you, then the rumors about Joe Bradley. Oh, my what God. What happened with Joe? Uh, Set the record straight, Luann. <laughs> well, listen, uh, we, you know, we got along very well. We yeah. had a good chemistry together, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. And But, you know, Danielle was there. She was there at the show. She was there when we went out later for sure. drinks at the hotel. Um, and, you know, and she said that, you know, she tracked him on his phone and he did come over with friends for drinks at okay. my house. Okay. Um, but that was it. That was it. Yeah. Nothing more? Nothing more. Nothing more. Okay. Because it seems like he alluded to something more. <laughs> <laughs> well, they certainly did. Yeah. Because cast, because it came up at the because reunion. Because it came up at the reunion. Yeah, exactly. Were you, did you kind of call him out on that for? Well, no, 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 no. I haven't mm -hmm. spoken to Joe since then. Okay. Really, since you know, then. Yeah. yeah. But like, yeah, he's a little young for me, too. He's a little young. <laughs> He's really is there like a cutoff age? Yeah, I don't twenties for me is you know my son is in twenties, right? You know what I mean? So it's like, but but he's very attractive and yeah. has um and he has a great personality. Has a great I really person. liked him as a person. It was funny. Um, he was here before he went to watch What Happens Live that day, and oh, he funny. was like, "What can you tell me about Luann?" Oh, and so like he, he oh, was already his, yeah. yeah, it was already like oh my god. <laughs> I love it. But are you looking to get married again, or are you just looking you know, for just a partner? I'm, I'm looking. You know, I'm I'm a hopeless romantic. Yeah. So I do. I love love, and I love men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so you just never know with me. Sure. Yeah. You know, I I'm no, there's no plan to get married again. But yeah. like they say in my song, three three times the charm. So catch me if you can.